Well, good morning, Andrew. Leadership from both parties are sounding confident for now that they'll meet their deadlines to fund the government and to raise the debt limit. Now, the first test comes on Friday. The government runs out of money at midnight. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said support is building for a stopgap measure that would keep the lights on through early next year. Now, the plan was for the House to vote on that today, but as of last night, there was still no final agreement. And Politico is reporting that GOP opposition to a separate issue, the vaccine mandate, could gum up the works. Now, on the debt limit, our tracker with the Bipartisan Policy Center shows that Treasury has $272 billion left in cash and extraordinary measures. That puts us in the yellow zone of about two weeks of money left. But remember that this is a dial. It moves backward when revenues come in and forward as money goes out. And Treasury actually has a little more breathing room than it did at the end of last week when the estimate was that it had $269 billion left. Now, Secretary Yellen told lawmakers yesterday that one of the reasons she wants Congress to act by December 15th is because that's when a big payment to the Highway Trust Fund comes due. If that goes through, guys, Treasury could end up running out of money before the month is over. Back over to you. So we really think I, this is the part that I never understand. And I, I always wonder, and I don't mean to be a total cynic about this. I know you just said we have more money than we thought. But do we always know we were going to have a little bit more money than we thought? Meaning, do you think that there was a little cushion in there? You know, Treasury's incentive is to be conservative, right? They don't want an accidental default to happen by pushing that deadline so far back for Congress that uh, they don't actually meet it or something happens to, to sort of delay that process. Treasury's already pushed the deadline back one time. Originally, it was December 3rd, the same day the government funding will run out. It would have been Friday. Then they said they have a little more time. So there are some Republicans in particular who are saying actually probably have it to January or even perhaps later than that. The issue is that if there is an accidental default because Congress waits too long, the ramifications are massive, both for the markets as well as for individuals who could see things like Social Security payments uh, be delayed or not come through at all. So that's the reason why Treasury does have that incentive to be conservative. Um, but, you know, as we keep running up against these deadlines, investors in the markets, I think, become a little bit inured to uh, all the warnings that uh, policymakers try to throw their way. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.